what it is, man. Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rep the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what you know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, I'll let your boy when we get home. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at TheHellBlaze.com. 100% all-natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella sent you. Get 18% off. We out. All right, we've come prepared today. Let's talk about um, Jojo Diaz. Jojo Diaz stepping up and fighting um, Hybrid Fortuna after, you know, Ryan Garcia did the Bagman Smoke Escape. And first, we're going to start off with Jamal Charlo. Um, he's fighting Montiel at the Toyota Center in Houston. Um, hopefully, his people show up because I wouldn't show up to that bullshit. But let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell like, iron button, share the video. And um, so read the article. It says from boxing, Jamal Charlo taking on Juan Montiel on uh, what is it six nineteen? Is that June 9th? Uh, headed to the Toyota Center in Houston. Jamal Charlo's next fight. Uh, it was wrote by Keep Body. Shout to Keep Body. Um, his next fight will be in his hometown. Will be held in a bigger building than his previous appearance. Boxing has confirmed that Charlo's middleweight fight against Juan Montiel on June nineteenth will headline the card at the Toyota Center. The home arena of the NBA's uh, Houston Rockets. Charlo's last fight in Houston was a 12-round unanimous decision over Brandon Adams in June 19th. Uh, was the main event at the smaller NRG Arena uh, near the NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas, home stadium. Charlo, 31-0, 22 big knockouts and heavily favored over Mexico's Montiel, 22-4-2. The, the main event of Showtime's championship boxing. Triple header, Montiel is the WBC's fourth-ranked contender. Um, for the championship, for the Charlo championship, the 30-year-old Charlo will make his fifth defense of his WBC 160-pound crown. The 27-year-old Montiel knocked out former contender James Kirkland 34-3 and 30 knockouts in the first round of his last fight, excuse me, which took place in uh, December 26 at the Shrine Auditorium in the Expo Hall in LA. Showtime three-bout broadcast will feature lightweight contender. Isaac Cruz on uh, June 19, Mexico City's Cruz 21-1-1, 15 KOs is scheduled to face former WBC 130-pound champion Francisco Vargas. He's still fighting 27-2-19. I think he had those wars with uh, Brichett or somebody. I think it was Brichett. In 10 rounds, 135 pounds. Bob, the opening triple Showtime triple header will match former WBO junior featherweight champion Angelo Leo of Albuquerque, New Mexico against Mexican Southpaw Aaron Ambadala in 10 rounds. Um, Texas has been shout to Leo for fighting again. Texas has been a popular place for boxing during the COVID nineteen pandemic because at least a limited number of fans have been able to limit it. Nigga, since October, this will be the first significant boxing card in Houston. However, since the coronavirus crisis began in March twenty twenty, all the prominent boxing events in Texas have been held in Arlington, Fort Worth, Dallas, or San Antonio. UFC two twenty six took place at Toyota Center on Saturday night as well. Jamel Charlo's twin is going to be fighting. Who cares about that old buck dancing? Hello, my lady. Hello, my lady. The Charlo, well, the Charlo raccoon. I said it. He could, I said it to his face. Who cares? Um, but at the same time, man, it is what it is. I mean, shout out to Leo for being on the card. I have no other interest in the card other than Angelo Leo taking on Aaron Amidala. So, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it's a terrible card. Terrible fight out of all the individuals in the WBC rankings, which... Do, 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 do. Jaime Maguire is number one. Couldn't make that fight. So lucky fight Maguire. Montiel is four. Uh, some other guys. Ascavel Falco is supposed to be taking on Triple G. Rumored. So I guess it wasn't nobody really in there to fight. Shit, I'd rather see Chris Pearson in that hole. I, I'd rather see Chris Pearson fight. Honestly. You know. Um, let me see last time this Ohio boy fought. Uh, He fought. Uh, He beat Yamaguchi Falco. Yeah, he wasn't Ascavel. He be Yamaguchi Falco. I was on the phone talking to my boy about it. Um, he lost his last fight. He got knocked out by Carlos. Or maybe not. He got knocked out. Hell out. Okay. So, I mean, it is what it is. You know, I've already seen Benavidez and him fight, but you already know. Me, you got Chihuahua, Charlo, the little Charlo. You got Pump Fake Charlo, so. You know, it's, it's unfortunate that we have to sit through that bull job. And I ain't watching it. Shut up and down. I ain't watching it. I watch the Leo fight, maybe. But I ain't watching it. I'm not wasting on. What is it? What is it? June 16th? 
Let me see. Whenever June's 19, I'm watching that shit. Nigga. I'd rather be, I'd rather be, I'd rather work, I'd rather be working double overtime, getting double time, time and a half. He tripping. Come on, stay busy, fight man. These these jokers today, it's not him. It's really the promotional companies and people controlling it. These niggas don't fight two hard fights in a row. They don't fight hard fights at all no more. And people get mad at people that's pretty much historic boxing historians or, you know, people remember what boxing was and they get mad. This shit's some bullshit. We in the track of so many corn balls. And, all, and most of these corn balls, no offense to the real boxing fans, come from the South. You know what I'm saying? They probably were still playing curveball or kick the can, you know, other than football. And now the South got involved in boxing, it really turned the other way. Kind of like rap. When the South got involved fully in rap, turned it around. So you got all these Southern uh, bunking. No disrespect to the real Southern boxing fans. But you got these new, you know, 19, 20-year-olds, 25-year-old boxing fans who don't know shit. Who don't know nothing. And then you got some of their women coming up trying to find a niche. Now go back to talking about planting watermelon seeds, nigga. Go back to talking about putting the roof on. Go back to talking about the cows, the chickens, and the birds. Go back to talking about corn and all that. Because we don't, we, don't, we don't need these new boxing fans. My people are not going to say it. We just need to get back to the regular. You know what I'm saying? And I do think, you know, the really, they don't fuck with the Charlos like that. The people I'm talking about, they really mess, we really need Earl Smith to lose. You know what I'm saying? And then maybe shit will go back to uh, back to normal. But, I mean, let's move on. Gilberto Ramirez taking on Barrera on the undercard of BS. And Fortuna, set for June 9th, way better than Jan June, excuse me, uh, July 9th, better than June 19th. Come on, man. They might as well, they might as well have had that back in Connecticut. They should just... Charlo got a, Jamal got a nice back. I should just put that shit on Jamal backyard. I'd rather see that motherfucker hit the pads in the bag than fight Montiel. Um, it says months after nearly ruined one show, Jojo, excuse me, Joseph Jojo Diaz has arrived to the salvage another. The former junior lightweight has agreed to to, to next face Dominican Republic Javier Petuna on July 9th at a venue to be determined. Two sources with knowledge of the situation informed by scene. Diaz accepted the fight in place of unbeaten lightweight Ryan, Ryan Garcia, who I got mental health. Oh, my, my mental health. Oh, cookie ass, cake ass, punk old Ryan Garcia, who withdrew from personal, I don't know personal reason. He was duck, 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 goose. Come on, man. Come on, Ryan Garcia ducked the fast. I'm like, why are you always lying? Come on, man. We already know what it is. Also, on show, Gilberto Ramirez, 41 and 0, 27 tech, uh, knockouts. People were saying he, uh, Canelo was ducking him. Okay, I don't believe it. We'll make his Golden Boy promotion debut. Gilbert Ramirez, a former WBO super middleweight titleist, titleist now campaigns at light heavyweight and will face veteran contender Sullivan Barrera. With the fight having been in development for nearly two months, Athletics Mike Cobbinger was the first to reveal development via social media. Diaz thirty one one and one, fifteen KOs went on the record in late April. Of his intentions to face next Javier Fortuna, 36-2-1-25, and big ones. Once the opportunity and date became available, the 2012 Olympian and former IBF junior lightweight has remained in the gym in weeks following the latest 12-round draw with, I can't pronounce his name, and the fight that cost him his title one day prior after badly missing weight for their, excuse me, February 13th on the zone headliner. Uh, the show, okay, who cares? So, long story short, we got two good fights better than Charlo and Montiel, um, um, Joseph Diaz for stepping up, but Ryan Garcia didn't. This sound kind of playing. Ryan Garcia didn't want to fight for Tuna. If you don't want to fight Devin Haney for a title, why would you fight for Tuna and title him in there? It makes no sense. And nothing about his mental health. And I also heard that him and um, Roley Ramirez is not going to be fighting next, but they agreed to fight down the line. Uh, I'm a fan of me with Roley. I don't respect Ryan, you know, Mr. Pullout. And you know, one thing about ducking and pulling out and shit, even though I don't think Leo pulled out any fights. Leo do all the ducking, but he's nice. You know, he's a really nice guy. He don't be boasting. And that's why people can respect Leo's duckage. Because Leo will sit there, be nice to you, and, you know, I, I, I maybe, maybe, maybe. Ryan Garcia be talking shit, and then he, he basically thought he threw a rock and hide his hand. If Leo threw a rock, he's going to be like, I threw the rock, you know. And then again, you know, when you're that young, and think about it. These older fighters, you know, they hungry. They want to run through a wall. They don't want to get money. They slow down. Look at Ryan Garcia. He don't even want to get a title. I don't, don't want to get a title. Fuck you mean you don't want to get a title? Come on, man. We don't need we don't need Oscar De La Hoya Jr. in boxing, okay? You know, remember his his parents wouldn't let him spar tank because they spar too. Get out of here, man. This is the point where Ryan Garcia is one of them. He's like one of these fans. 
The fans I talked about, he in the wrong sport. Go go be badminton or go be in the Billers or, you know, go go hopscotch and play or do bowling. All right, because Ryan Garcia has no place in boxing. At some point, they're going to take the training wheels off of him. That's why I say I want to retire 26 because he know he's going to get knocked the fuck out. Facts on facts on facts. And he and he a punk. You know, because that was a that was a fight that I was like, he's going to fight for two instead of Devin for a belt. I was like, ah. Don't smell right, don't feel right, don't look right, don't, none of it, none. And I knew he was going to pull out. My mental health and, uh, come on, man. You around here cheating with, uh, TikTokers and shit, man. It's to the point where I know it's too good to be true, but, um, but Ramirez and Barrera, that's a good one. Um, uh, I don't know the last time Sullivan Barrera fight. Fought. I know Ramirez fought in December last year or something like that. So I don't even know the last time Sullivan Barrera fought. He forty years old, so this is a good fight for this is a good fight for making Ramirez a good. This Joker ain't fought since he since he lost to, Je- to Sullivan Barrera nearly uh shit two years ago. Two years ago, you know what I'm saying almost two years ago, man. So he ain't fought in two years, bro. I, you know I ain't really trying. You lose to Jesse Hart, I ain't trying to hear. So this 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 was a fight, a showcase fight to make your brother Ramirez look good. So we are, I know what it is, you know. Gabriel Ramirez, another dude that I think he's worth more than he than he actually is. He fought last December, so he fought once in nineteen. You know, to me, it's for the whole point. You know, you never. He's just a Mexican that they just can't. Uh, they top rank just didn't know how to promote him. We see if Golden Boy could do better, but that's a fight that's a little less intriguing, but still more intriguing. And Charlo fighting uh, uh what's old boy named Montiel, and uh, they was trying to really do Charlo and James Kirkland, but Montiel. Crash the party, which at this point I wouldn't want to see it no way, because Kirkland can't fight no more. They shouldn't even grant Cuz a license, but I mean it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, sponsor, video quest, all our social media links description. Fast way to reach me is Twitter, then Facebook, then Instagram. Links there, Facebook group link there as well too. All in the description. Want to make a financial donation? Excuse me, cash up CJ Good three one three. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well too. Best way to donate. Share, share the video. Man, let me know what you guys think about the situation. Shout out to Joseph Diaz for being the wrong, for being the real one. And uh, what uh, third base say, Charlo get the gas face. PBC, they should put that shit on Facebook. Watch. Y'all know what it is. Peace. Belief about no, I'm on the phone. Yeah, yeah. You looking at my baby? No, no. No, I'm good. You sure? Yeah, I'm good. Man. All right, man. Next time we come outside, don't be staring shit like that. I don't like that. I wasn't looking at him.